Praise the Lord. Saints, God bless you today. Amen. Just thanking the Lord for another day. Amen. Did I say amen? God bless you. Amen. Feel like saying amen. Feel like saying yes, Lord. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you, God, for your many blessings. Now, bless everyone under the sound of my voice and keep them, oh God. Let the devil be bind. We bind him right now. Hallelujah. Bless all your people everywhere. In the name of Jesus, bless the family, God, by death and destruction. Oh God, oh God, in the name of Jesus, straighten them, straighten the bereaved family and bless the saints here at the house of prayer. God be the glory forever. Jesus' name, thank God, amen. God bless you today, having some difficulty, amen. But we're going to speak on Amen. What well, we spoke Sunday there, 14 chapter of Joshua. Maybe I can add some more. I can add some more. Amen. Amen. Try to get through with that. Amen. This Tuesday night. So glad to be back with the saints. I'm enjoying God's people here at the church. We're having a good time. Amen. Many of the saints I hadn't seen come. Amen. See us. We pray in God blessing upon you that God keep us. And thanking God for what he has already done, what he's going to do. Amen. Praise God for the Bible study. Amen. There in Joshua, the 11th chapter. Amen. Eight verse. And we read this, but we was talking about, let me read the verse. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me have the hearts of the people met. But I wholly follow the Lord my God. Amen. From the 6th to the 12th, verse 11, verse that, amen. Caleb just kept on saying the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Many times our heartaches and breakdown, disappointed, disgusted, disgrown. Amen. Just feel bad. Amen. Mentally, spiritually, just wore out. Amen. If they ever come to wear the saints out, that's just a fact. Amen. But here in the scripture here, Caleb had something going for himself. He kept saying the Lord. He left the Red Sea saying the Lord. All the people, Caleb was one of them that God brought across the Jordan to the promised land. And I understand because he just kept saying the Lord. Let me say this. Uh, 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 you can take an apple, cut it in half, take some clean water put the app the one half in the clean water and take the other half and put it in some acid. You follow me? You follow me? Take one half, put it in clean water, the other in acid. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, if you got a, any sense in the brain, you can take that apple out the clean water and you can eat it. Amen. But you dare not take the apple and eat it that been in that acid. Amen. Because you know that the acid have got into the apple. Amen. There's something that we do as cooks, and I I do it. Amen. Before I cook that next day, I put the seasoning on or whatever I want to put on it. And uh, the next day I cook it. That is called, or uh, we call it, that is called marinating. We let the seasoning get all in the chicken, get all in the steak, get all in the turkey. Wait, man, we take the injection and inject the, the season, whatever season you may want, and inject it in the turkey, and you let it set. It's good to let it set. It's good to marinate your food because you want the food, the seasoning, to get in the meat. Amen. It's the same way with the Word of God. Many times, and I was thinking yesterday, and I it was disgusted things going on getting calls and different things and I, I put my head down and soon I put my head down and I said before I did that my God what we gonna do about this what's going on what is going to be like to, amen this week or next month where are we going then the scripture that spoke to me take no thought for the mark I put a smile on my face then I said, thank you, Jesus. Once we marinate ourselves 
in the word of God, it will come on automatic. Amen. You don't have to worry about hey, uh, what the chicken tastes like and you don't put some Cajun seasoning on it. You know, that's what you put on it. You like Cajun season. Hello here. Hey Amen. You, you, you don't even put the chili peppers on it. Hey Amen. You don't, my God, my God. You don't put the rich of sauce all in it and let it just marinate. Hey Amen. That's what it's supposed to taste like. So if you marinate, hey Amen. Caleb was a man that, my God, every time he saw the wall when he got to the promised land, the Red Sea, this man was saying the Lord. Once we marinate, ourselves in the word of God, it will actually work for us. That's the way we gonna taste. Devil, you alive. Amen. That's the way we gonna feel. Amen. That's why the scriptures say, no, we cast down. We, my God, my God, the devil. My God, I feel like saying hallelujah. What that word ever hit in my heart? It's gonna be a lamp. It's gonna be a light. Somebody say it's a lamp. It's a light. It's a lamp. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's dark. It's dark. My God, the situation just oppressed. The devil standing on your head. But it's the light, the light about my God. The light shine out of darkness. No matter how dark it is, it may check a match. My God, it, that's all it takes. My the light of the word. Make that what they say. Call them up. Call them up. Tell them what you want. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ain't no need to cry. That when you get through crying. Because it hurt. Things hurt. Things hurt. Things going to be disgusted. Things not going to go our way. Amen. You know what I told somebody the other day? Amen. I told them this is not heaven. Sometimes we think this heaven. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Don't you know he died in rose? He going to prepare a place for us. This ain't heaven. Amen. But he promised never to leave us, not forsake us. He left us his word. Can you say praise the Lord? I'm excited. I'm marinating. I'm marinating. Ah, God, thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I might hear some bad news next week or this week. Amen. Praise the Lord. My God, my God. But I'm marinating. Thank God for the word over the year. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got to preach this. I got to preach it. I got to preach it. And I'm going to, I might, oh, after this communion. My God, my God. Let me be quiet here because I'm excited. I'm excited about the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for his word. God bless you, saints. Amen. Marinate. Marinate. My God, I need to preach that. Marinate. Marinate. Let it get all in you. Get in your hand. Get in your toe. My God, we had such a good time. Sad that Sunday the saints just prayed. God, why? I just felt to praise myself. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got a feeling everything going to be all right. God. God is not dead. He, oh, my God. Come on, say it. He's not dead. Amen. Praise the Lord. There is hope in God. Amen. Keep on saying the Lord. Oh, wait a minute. The Lord. Amen. Whatever happened in your life, no matter how you feel, what the doctor say, amen, what she say, he say, job say, finance say, oh, Lord, finance say, amen, praise the Lord, yeah, how you feel, amen, praise the Lord. I don't feel like going on. My God, my God, when you say that, shout the Lord. The Lord will provide. He'll make a way somehow in Jesus' name. Praise God. Communion is coming Sunday there. Amen. YouTube, Facebook. God bless you, saints. So love you so dearly. Amen. And pray for you often in my prayers. Amen. Amen. Remember one another in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep on blessing you. As the praises go up, the blessings come down. Thank God. Praise God. Thank you.